Stacking with control. Chuck, let's go over to our policy violations. All right. And so here, this is where you can now start building out policies to act on your behalf. First things first, you're going to get a summary email every four hours to say, hey, here's what you missed in the past four hours, right? If you're saying, hey, that might be a little too steep a, a time frame, that on violation, notify admin. When that's selected, you're going to get notified as soon as the policy is tripped up, right? Now, to the left, you'll see remediation. By default, everything is set to look, don't touch, because we want you to decide how you want to handle it. But if it's a drive file, go ahead and delete it. You can quarantine it. You can revoke the share. And you can send out a warning to the user. If it's a shared drive file, you can delete the files. You can warn your user. And then last but not least, for email, we cannot stop email from leaving your environment. Where I tell people to use delete email, and quarantine email is when things are entering your environment because then you can absolutely gatekeep your environment. If you're tired of all those spam emails, put that spam uh, domain in the policy and delete those emails. If you want to check and make sure it's, a, it's not a risk before you fully release it, go ahead and quarantine that email. So we'll move it to the trash until you're ready to release it. Right. And then lastly, you can always warn them. So warn the sender, the recipient and the CC. Right. The last policy I'm going to touch on on this uh, screen here took the image risk for me or actually self-harm. That was perfect. Go down and self-harm. You see that send email to right there. So here, if you have your counselors, your principals, your student resource officers that you would want to respond to these things instead of yourself, or actually receive it as the same time that you receive it, you can actually put their email in that box there, comma separated, you can put as many as you want to. And now when those uh, policies start to get violated, you can start parceling out the responsibility. Hey, that's a student safety risk. We're gonna send that to that high school counselor, right? So you can get very granular with how you build these policies. These are for your content. Chuck, let's scroll up and we'll click on app policies. All right. And lastly, for our app policies here, you can build your policies based off of risk. You can build it based off of the category. You can say, you know what? I don't really care what the app category is, but it shouldn't have that much e uh, permission into my email. Right. So you can actually set what scopes it has. And you can also build policies where you say, hey, I want to approve these certain things so maybe you have educational games that the kids are allowed to use um chuck actually flip over to students real quick and it'll be right there at the bottom wow e-gaming right so you can say hey go ahead and go to that chess.com go ahead and go over to these magic school games but all that pokemon go and dragon ball z and all that nah we're gonna get rid of that right here you go Go ahead and police that so you can literally build uh, these app policies as granular as you need them to be. All right.